Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 150. I have reached 150. You guys sick of me yet? <laughs> so I got my coffee here and my crazy sock lady mug that I got from the crazy sock lady. I will link it down below. I have peppermint mocha creamer. It is very good. Mwah. <laughs> first cup of the day. Actually, I only drink 20 ounces of coffee a day. I don't drink any more. Any less. 20 ounces. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a shawl. I'm actually wearing short sleeves. We'll talk about weather in a minute. Do you guys, do you guys remember this? This is shallography. Shallography. This was Stephen West's Mystery Knit Along for 2021. Yes, last year. I can't believe I'm wearing short sleeves. I have the windows open. It is, I think, currently 71 degrees. I don't know what's going on with her. We'll talk about that later. All right. This is my uh, YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, cross stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, I'll have a little show notes right down there um, in the description box. Chevron thing, you know the you know the drill. I'll have uh, my Instagram, my Ravelry group. No, I will not have my Ravelry group. I still have my Ravelry group. I'm just not into it. It's there if you want to join it, but it's crickets over there. I'll have all the links down there to shops. I'll have my reading and watching down there. I'll list all my whips, needles, patterns, all that good stuff. All right, today we have two finished objects and three whips and some stash. And um, next cast ons, dream cast ons. And my hair is really frizzy, thanks to the weather. All right, I think that's my spiel. Oh, today is April 24th, 2022, Sunday. This is the last episode of a in April, of April, for April, words. So my next week video, I will do my stash my stash down stats. I did pretty good for April and it's not done yet. So I want to try to sneak in a couple more things <laughs> for meters. <sighs> All right, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. I have my windows open, so I'm hoping you can hear the birds. Probably can't, but I can hear them. I enjoy the birds. Okay, finish object number one. Oh my word, I did it. So this was my Bumblebee Acres advent calendar from 2020. I used all 25 colors from here to here, I believe. I don't wanna say here and count, but I know I used all the colors. And then I had to do some repeats for the heel. So I put my heel, I did an afterthought heel right in the gray stripe. So then I did like, I think four rows before my decrease of gray. And then I switched to another color. And then I just counted rows at that point because after I did this big blue for both socks, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. So then I did six rows and six rows, I think, or six and seven, seven and seven, I don't remember, but I counted rows so they like perfectly match. Oh, I love these. Now, I don't remember. I counted how many ends I had to weave in per sock. When I 
so I already weaved in like the toe after I kitchen dirt. But since I changed colors for the heel, there was, oh, I think there was like 50, 57 or 58 per sock. It took me an hour and a half to weave all these ends in. Yes, I love, change, I change the colors every six rows. So I like the skinnier stripes, but oh my word. I got to figure out a new way to weave in ends because that's just, or maybe I should have just done one sock, took a break, and then do the other sock. It's probably what I should have done. But anyway, I love them. 64 stitches, US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. I'm afraid I'm gonna say uh, US 2.5, which is not, that's not it. That's why I always stumble, but it's the same for all of my socks. I love them, and I brought my my uh, my bag over here of my leftovers, so you could see how much I have left. I still have quite a bit. Um, so these were 10 gram minis, not 20. I did a square in my blanket with all of them, and I knit a pair of socks. And this is what I have left. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. And this yarn is like really wooly and thick. So I don't know if I want to do shorty pair of socks because it's going to be kind of, with shorty socks, I want, I don't want less thick yarn. This kind of reminds me of Patton's Croy a little bit. It's nice yarn, but I don't think it'd be nice for summer socks. It'd be too hot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Something, I don't know. All right, that is my finished object number one. Finished object number two. Can you guess what it is? I'll let you guess. Any guesses? Oh, I'm trying to pick up my coffee here. All right, have you guessed? Oh, that's right, I finished two pairs of socks. Go me. Oh. So this is Knit Picks Felici in the Bayou, Bayou, I think it's Bayou. And I did the heels in Knit Picks Stroll Dub Heather. I'm listening to the neighbor's talk. <laughs> um, 64 stitches, afterthought heel. Um, for my afterthought heel, I, for this yarn, I did five rows before I did my decrease. Uh, 12 rows, a two by two rib. US 1.5 needle, 2.5 millimeter. These ones are for uh, my daughter, Chloe. Um, I'm not, I'm just making that, making her socks and giving them to her. I'm not gonna save them for Christmas anymore or a holiday. It'll be just because. Because last time I made her socks in April, and by Christmas they didn't fit her. So I'm just gonna make them and just give them to her right away so she can wear them. So yeah, and they don't match. Don't match. And I love how this, I wish they were matching because I was talking about this uh, black stripe right here. And I was like, ooh, I feel like my heel is gonna be like, it wasn't gonna be center in the black is what I was talking about. So what I did was I just moved it, I counted the rows and I just moved it up one row and then just added another row up here. So now it's like perfect. So I love that, but the socket didn't do that. It landed in the middle of the blue and green stripe or whatever that color is, ice blue. But, yep. I didn't like knitting this thick black stripe, but I was excited when I was done and then at any rate, they're done. Done and done. Oh, my eye itches. Okay, that is all my finished objects. Now are you ready for whips? Looks like there's only one, one new whip this week. And 
We're going to show that first. This is in a bag that my friend Amy made for me. I think it was for my birthday one year. I don't remember. Or just because. But I love it. And this is the one that I had you all vote last week for me. Because I was like, I want to cast on Felici. Help me pick a color. And game over one. Game over one. That's funny. It picks Felici. This is, I bought this one in summer 2021. I am so looking forward to new colors. If if you are on Instagram and you see that Felici is out, please DM me. Flood me with the DMs that Felici's here because you guys all know that I am obsessed with Felici. And that right there's all my Felici stash. It looks like I have enough for seven balls now. Yep, seven. I wound one up, I'll show you in a minute. That's part of my dream, dream cast on, next cast ons. But, oh, I am, I love this colorway so much. Look how much I got done already. I don't know when I started these. I know I cast on the cuffs one day and then I set it down for a day or two and then I went back to it. So I don't know, maybe I cast them on Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't remember. I love it. These are also going to be for my daughter, Chloe. Um, I do my socks magic loop. Chowgu red lace, 2.5 millimeter, 1 point, US 1.5. I do 32 inch cord because I do them one at a time. If you're curious about all my markers, I will have a video linked down below. I'm going to put my afterthought heel right there. And for with Felici, it seems like it's 10 rows for the leg including the cuff, or not rows, stripes, 10 stripes, and then 10 stripes for the foot and the toe, including the toe. So I do 20 stripes total, oh, and it's perfect. I love it. So, yep, I'm halfway done. I think I almost have 100 rows. I think it's about 140 rows I do for my socks, for fleeches, 64 stitches. 12 rows of 2 by 2 rib. And I do have the second sock cast on. Not going to match. These are going to be off by like three, like, ooh. Like, four, is that four stripes? One, two. No, like four or five ish. Four rows, four stripes. Oh my, this is. <laughs> So, second sock is cast on. So now when this is done, I can just keep on going. I like to cast on both cuffs at the same time. Well, not the same time, the same day. Whenever I'm gonna cast on a new pair of socks, I like to do both cuffs. My shawl's falling off here. Unless I'm doing like a 100 gram cake and I don't divide it, then I'll just knit one sock and then I'll start the second sock as soon as I'm done. But when it's two um, 50 gram cakes. I like to just cast them both on and move on. And now I got a tangly mess. So yep, that is my new, my only sock on the needles. Gasp, but don't worry. I feel like I'm gonna, well, but this is the last week of April. So I have my Desert Vista Dye Works I'm going to also show that. I think this is what I'm going to do for May. I think the first is on Sunday. I think it is. So I don't, I don't, I probably won't have a cast on. Unless I cheat a little and cast on Saturday night. I'm not going to do that. But I have another sock that I'm going to cast on shortly after I'm done with that. So I will have a sock on the needle. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Whip number two. The 
this is in a bag again that Amy from Happy Little Yarn made me for Christmas. And this is my Painting Honeycombs Shawl by Stephen Wist. I think I'm going to focus on this today because I love it, but I want it done. <laughs> I feel like I've been working on it for, I don't know, has it been a month yet? It feels like it. I've made a lot of progress this week. Excuse me. It doesn't. Oh yeah, it's a lot of progress. I was going to say, no, nah, not really. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this off for a minute so I can show you this without having to fall off. Oh yeah, I made a lot of progress. What am I talking about? All right, I'm gonna do a little close-up. See where that mushroom is right there? That's where I was last week. Oh, look at this. Can't really see the colors. All you can see is white, but I'm trying to show you how long it is. It is like 200 and, oh, I counted yesterday and I forgot. 225, I think? Stitches on the needles right now. And oh, when you block this, the honeycombs will show up really nicely. Oh, Yeah, so right, see how when it, it's up at the top, it just looks like bricks. But once you like stretch it, once it's blocked, once I block this, it's going to be glorious. You're really going to see the colors. Um, let's see, I'm using US 5s. Yep, US 5s, chow goos, interchangeables, 5 inch tips. That is a 3.75 millimeter. I'll show you the back because the back is awesome. Just as awesome as the front. Oh, look at that. So I've, I've went through all 24 and I think I'm on, I didn't say that. I'm using my advent calendar from Dragonhorn Yarns slash Yarn Cafe Creations. Uh, their Harry Potter um, advent from last year. So I've used all 24, and then I think I'm on the second set of 24, but what one am I on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 17. So I'm gonna go through 24 again, I'm really close, and then I'm gonna have to weigh my balls <laughs> to see if I have enough to I think once I do two sets of 24, that's 48 stripes, I need 55 total for the shawl. So I think I'm going to be all right. Famous last words. So I think I need seven. Seven after the 24? I don't know. Math. I'll figure it out. <laughs> if not, I will just use the balls that are bigger. <laughs> for the end of the shawl. And I'm using Knit Pick Stroll White for the main color. I love this thing so stinking much. Even though the rows are getting long. But yeah, I think I'm at 225 and I think I have to get to 295. So I'm really close. I'm really close. I don't think I can finish it this week. Maybe if this is the only thing I worked on, but I don't know. I have other whips. I don't know if this will be done or not, but I think today I'm going to just focus on this today until this evening and then I'll work on socks because I like, I don't like working on this in the evening. The rows are long. I'm tired. It's better to just give me a sock to work on. So that's just knitting. This is like knitting and purling and you got to pay attention for increases and slip stitches and yeah, I can't do that when I'm, when I'm tired. So, I'm going to call that a, a Scrappy Sunday project. It's not technically scrappy, but what ifs. Is a mini, is a mini skein, uh, are mini skeins called Scrappy? I don't know. All right, I didn't show the bag for this one, but it's not going to live in here very long because it's already getting kind of full. My mom made this bag for me. 
long, long time ago. I bought the I bought the pattern for the bag. I don't remember where I bought the pattern from. I think I bought it at Joann's. Or the McCall's or Butterick or whatever. One of those patterns. I cut out all the pieces and she sewed them together for me. That was a long, long time ago. All right, this is my sweater. Garter Marl Sweater by Stephen West. All right, I worked on this for a little bit. I want to appreciate all of your comments from last week saying, it's beautiful, just keep going. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> No, I am enjoying it. It's very, wow, it's very crazy. But I'm gonna embrace it. Oh, look. So, see that white stitch marker? That's where I was last week. So, I got about maybe three inches done. I'm still increasing for the, um, the yoke. The more I look at it, it's like, it is beautiful. I keep telling my kids, it's like, oh, look at my ugly sweater. And they're like, it's not ugly, it's beautiful. <laughs> Lighting's not the, grace, the greatest, the greatest. I did uh, weave in some of, some of my ends. Now I did the weave at Steven and it, it felt janky. But then I just went and weaved them in with my needle and I mean, there is a line, but that's just where my row starts. I don't know if you can see it. And this will be on the back. You can see it. I don't care. You can see it on his sweater, so. Um, yeah. Oh, it got really windy all of a sudden. I'm blowing stuff away. So this is the back. Um, yeah, I don't have, um, the cuff here, the cuff, the neckline is Knit Pick Stroll Dove Heather and Cobblestone Heather. I'm going to also use that for my cuffs on my sleeves and the hem of the sweater. The rest is just Knit Pick's Felici scraps held together. There's a lot of purling in this, so if you hate, despise, dislike, purling. I do not recommend this sweater. Purling doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Famous last words. And as I get to the body of the sweater. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm, I never time myself like doing a knit row and a pro row to see how much uh, time difference it actually is. I feel like I'm a little slower with purling, but not that much. So yeah. Here is my sweater. I'm gonna move my stitch marker. I don't know what else to say about this. I'm using Chowgu Interchangeables. My pattern is flying away from me. Am um, I using sevens? I think I'm, I better be using sevens. Yep, sevens, 4.5 millimeter. Yeah, just holding two fleshy scraps together. Going crazy. This is what I'm holding right now. I got rainbow and a, I don't know. I don't remember that color. <laughs> I did not bring my big bag of fleecy that I, my scraps that I showed you last week. So if you want to check that out, check out the last episode. I'm going to move my marker. I forgot to move my stitch marker on my shawl. I'll do that in a minute here. Or when I, when I get it back out to work on it, I'll make sure. I love it. It's very fun to work on too. Once I separate for the sleeves, it'll be like smooth sailing. I'm not quite there. I'm close. I'm close. I think I have, I have one more. I don't want to give the pattern away, but I think I have one more increase row. And then I have some, some rows of the pattern repeat. I want to say Maybe 12 rows. 
According to the pattern, I think it's 12 rows. So I'm going to do those 12 rows. I'm going to try it on and see where it hits if I want to do a little bit more before I separate. I don't know yet. And I've read the directions for the sleeves and I am confused. So I'm, I don't understand. Stephen West has me a little confused with the sleeves. I don't want to give too much away because it's a pattern. But there's a decrease around, and then there's some rows. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll come to me. I don't know. I'm just reading this to you, and I'm not sharing any information because I don't. I understand that the, I've done I've done sweaters before. I know how sleeves works, but usually they say do decrease row knit four rows, then do another decrease. But this one doesn't really say it like that. So I'm like, I don't know. If you have this pattern and you can help me out, it would be appreciated. It might be one of those things where it's like, once I sit down and do it, it's like a duh. Yeah, I don't know. I have the stitch count of where it's supposed to start out, and I have the stitch count of what it's supposed to be at when I'm finished. So maybe he's just saying, here, decrease however you feel like. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I'm not quite there yet. It might be a while. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to touch the sweater this week that much. I kind of want to finish that shawl. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll work on it a little bit. Or maybe at least finish the yoke. That'd be nice. All right, and that is all my knitting. That's all my whips. Why is this cup so hard to pick up? <laughs> Probably because I'm not using the handle. All right, I got to rearrange myself. Feet are falling asleep. Oh, I almost dipped my shawl in my coffee. Oh man. Of course it was the white end. We're all good. <laughs> okay, do you want to do do you want to do reading and watching real quick? Then we'll get back to more yarny stuff. Okay, reading. Now reading is gonna get a little boring from week to week here because. I'm still reading The Magician's Gambit. That is the third book. I didn't write that very well in my show notes. Third book of The Pawn of Prophecy. It's not that I don't like it. This is the book I read right before I go to bed. And I'm lucky if I finish a chapter. <laughs> so I need to like uh, get out like a sock and read my book at the same time just to catch up. I think I'm only like 33% in. So, I mean, I, I'm enjoying it. It's just taking me a long time. <laughs> and I started an Echo in the Bone, which is the um, seventh book in the Outlander series. Oh, it's so good. I've missed the Outlander book so much. Yeah, I'm on number seven. I think there's, is there nine? I know one just came out recently. I think that's the ninth book. But I'm doing this on audio. And I think, I think it's 40 hours. 40 hours? 45 hours? Somewhere in there. It's a chunky book. I think it's like almost 900 pages. And I can listen to it at, I think, one point. I don't know if it's 1.5 or 1.4 speed. At any rate, that cut my uh, time in, down a chunk. So now I have 23 hours left. So I think I've been listening to it every day for about two to three hours this week. Except for Friday. Friday I wasn't in the mood or I would wanted to watch podcasts or something. So that's pretty good. So... I'm probably not going to finish that this week, so you're going to hear about it again. <laughs> and that's all for reading. I did not 
Did I not finish anything? Probably not. Let's look last week. Yeah, nope. I started Outlander and that was it. Okay, watching. We finished Vikings season two. So good. I love that show. Um, let's see. I am about halfway done with Breaking Bad Season 2. I think I've watched seven episodes. Seven or eight episodes. And I convinced my husband to watch the last season of Lucifer. I think we last last week we finished something and he's like, What do you want to watch next? I'm like, can we watch Lucifer? We have one more season left. I started watching it. And then my husband watched the last season with me. Four. Season four with me. And then he's like, Oh, I wanna finish it. And then there it's at. Yeah, I don't know. I don't we finished something. But obviously I didn't keep it very well. In my show notes. Maybe it was Atlantis. I don't know. At any rate, we are watching Vikings again. Or not Vikings again. You're finishing Lucifer. It's very good. I love it. And that's it for reading and watching. All right. Ready for, I guess we'll do stash and then we'll do, um, dream cast-ons or future cast-ons, whatever you want to call it. This came yesterday, so it was like, again, perfect timing. I forgot I ordered this. She had a, she did a dyed to order. And I'm like, I felt like buying yarn. I'm like, oh, it's going to be two weeks, whatever. I have lots of yarn. And then I completely forgot about it. My owl fibers. Oh, I love her yarn. I need to knit, I need to cast on a pair of socks with her yarn. It's very... It's plump. This is Beats, Bears, and Battlestar Galactica. I believe that's an office reference. I don't remember that episode. I love the office. I love this colorway, so I just went with it. So, <sighs> yep. Not sure what I'm gonna cast this on. We'll just add it to the good old stash. Ooh, it's getting kind of full. I need to stop buying indie dyed yarn. <laughs> and yep, that's it. I did purchase some yarn. I purchased some DVD Desert Vista Dye Works yarn. I'm doing the knit along. And uh, for the first quarter, she gives you a very, very nice coupon. So it looks like I'm going to be doing this again next year. <laughs> she gets ya. She gives you this nice coupon and you buy more of her yarn and you're like, well, I guess I'm doing it next year too. So she better have it. She better have her knit along. I mean, she's been doing it for eight years. I feel like she'll just keep doing it forever, right? <laughs> Speaking of Desert Fista Dye Works, this might be my May colorway. It feels kind of springy. Springy. My lighting's not very good today. This is No Soggy Bottoms. This is a great bit of, great, great British Bake Off colorway. I love that show. So I think it's got pinks and reds and greens, cream. I think we're gonna go with this one for me. I did order a skein, a solid skein of gray from her so I can do heels and toes and cuffs. It will not be for this time. It probably will probably be a couple months before I get that order. I don't know how far backed up she is for yarn right now. It's either four or five weeks, four to six weeks, four to eight weeks. I don't know. But so I think I'm just going to do a single pair of socks. Probably for me this time. I know I could do two pairs of shorties. Do I try, do I chance it? I don't know, I don't, I don't like playing yarn chicken, especially with a cow yarn because I can't 
I can't just pop in a heel because it won't count. I don't know. I know I did two pairs of scrappy shorty socks with uh, Desert Vista Dye Works and I think two pairs came to 86 grams. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to wait until I get my my gray yarn before I try to do that because I don't want to stress myself out. <laughs> so that is going to be, maybe I'll show that caked up next week. Because I don't think I'm going to have time to cast it on before I record because the first is Sunday. So I don't know. Maybe I'll show it caked up. And I got to rearrange myself. Tingly. All right, my next, um, ouch, Felici sock that I'm going to cast on is Desert Rose. I only have one skein of this, so I'm going to do a um, shorty pair of socks. I already caked it up and womp womp, I had a knot in it. So this is why I caked this stuff up because now I know there was a knot in it, and I can manage my stripe stripes a little better instead of knitting away and then, oh crap. So that is why I wind, this, wind these up, and I just like working from cakes better than a skein or a ball or whatever you want to call it. These things. This might be my next one. What's it galore? I'm trying to get through my fleecy stash. This is getting out of control. So I'm gonna do shorty pairs uh, for me and I'll probably do gray, um, gray heel, like this one, Dove Heather. My signature gray heel. <laughs> so I will probably have this cast on after I finish my other socks. And then if, it's the first and these aren't done. These might sit and I might cast these on. I figure since these are shorties, they're gonna be really fast. So I don't know. I'll probably cast them on this week some point. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe once I finish the first sock of those other ones. So yeah, that is my my dream cast on, future cast ons. All right, life stuff real fast. Uh, weather, let's talk about weather. So on Monday, it snowed. I know I said that in my last episode. It, I, I wasn't lying or the weather man wasn't lying or whatever you want to call it. Um, it snowed, I think we got like, an, they said an inch and a half it was snowing on and off all day. It didn't really start sticking to the ground until like later in the evening. So, but I didn't have to shovel. So it didn't stick on the pavement, but it did stick on the grass. So yeah, we got snow on Monday and yesterday. Yesterday it was 80 degrees. Yes, that's right. I said eight zero degrees Fahrenheit. What? So, yeah, that was, I mean, it was, it's, it was a slow warm up, but still, that's, that's not right. That's Michigan for you, I guess. It's supposed to be 75 today. I think I, when I checked before I sat down to record, it was 71. Yeah, I really wanted to use my air conditioner yesterday. <laughs> I think I got to like 79 in the house and I'm like, oh my word, it's too hot. And yeah, but I didn't. We just opened the windows and suffered through it. <laughs> um, what else happened? Oh, my uh, Chloe is sick again. Go figure. And then I think my husband got it. Fun times. So yeah, fun times around here. So now I'm just waiting to see if I get it. I'm gonna knock on some wood up here. 
Uh, yeah, really, that's, that's pretty much it. Weather is bonkers. People are getting sick around here again. I feel like Chloe was just sick like two weeks ago, but I guess round two of the cold. <laughs> Um, goals this week, I would like to finish those fleecy socks, cast on another pair. I, I don't think I want to finish that shawl. It would be awesome if I did, because that would be a nice, uh, nice meters for April, but I already have pretty good, I think I did pretty good for April already, so I'm not going to stress myself out to finish that. If not, I'll just add it to May. The rows are getting long, so it's taking me a little bit longer. I can't, I used to be able to do like four color stripes in one day and it's like, not anymore. <laughs> it's like maybe two, we'll see. I'll just keep trucking along. So I wanna at least finish the bleachy socks. Cause I gotta, I wanna have at least one finished object. Yeah, that's it. I really don't have anything else. Um, yeah. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you all got a lot done on your projects. Uh, today, I got some laundry going. I'm gonna work on the shawl today. Let's see how much I can get done. Supposed to be nice out again today, but I don't know if we're going to go anywhere because people are sick around here. So we might just enjoy the fresh air in the house with the windows open again. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Share if you feel like there's somebody that would like this podcast. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. I love reading them. And yeah, hopefully I will not get sick and I will see you next week. Bye.